Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through polynomials. In the previous sessions, we have seen the polynomials, classification based on number of terms and classification based on their degree. Today, let's study how to find the value of a polynomial. To obtain the value of a polynomial, substitute or replace the variable in the polynomial with the corresponding given value. Consider a polynomial p of x equals 2x square minus 3x plus 5. p of x is a second degree or quadratic polynomial with one variable x. When x equals 2, we get p of 2 equals 2 multiplied by 2 square minus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 5 equals 2 multiplied by 4 minus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 5 equals 8 minus 6 plus 5 equals 7 hence value of the polynomial is 7 when x equals 2 when x equals minus 3, we get p of minus 3 equal to 2 multiplied by minus 3 the whole square minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 plus 5 equals 2 multiplied by 9 plus 9 plus 5 equals 18 plus 9 plus 5 equals 32 that is, p of minus 3 is equal to 32. Here, 32 is the value of the polynomial, at x equals minus 3. If we give different values for x, we get corresponding value of polynomial. The value of a polynomial p of x, at x equals a, is obtained by replacing x by a in the given polynomial and is denoted by p of a. Next, let us see what is zero of a polynomial. Consider a polynomial p of x equals x plus 10. When x equals zero, p of zero equals zero plus 10 equals 10. When x equals 10, p of 10 equals 10 plus 10 equals 20. When x equals minus 10, p of minus 10 equals minus 10 plus 10 equals 0. That is, the value of p of x at x equals minus 10 is 0. Hence, x equals minus 10 is said to be the zero of the polynomial. p of x equals x plus 10. That is, zero of a polynomial is the value of the variable for which it becomes zero. Let us consider another example. Find the zero of the polynomial p of x equals x minus 7. For finding zero of a polynomial, equate that polynomial to zero. That is, x minus 7 equals zero. x equals zero plus 7 equals 7. Therefore, x equals 7 is the zero of the polynomial p of x equals x minus 7. Generally, x equals a is said to be the zero of polynomial p of x if p of a equals zero. 
For finding, zero of a polynomial, equate that polynomial to zero. And solve, for the variable. What about the zero, of a constant polynomial? Let's take, p of, x, equals 9. We can write 9 as, 9x raised to zero. When x equals 1, the value of the polynomial is 9. Since, 1 raised to 0 is 1. When x equals 5, then also, the value of the polynomial is 9. Since, 5 raised to 0 is 1. When x equals 0, value of the polynomial is not defined. Since, 0 raised to 0 is not defined. That is, whatever may be the value of x, except 0, the value of p of x is 9, which is never 0. That is, there is no value of x for which p of x equals 9 becomes 0. Therefore, p of x equals 9 has no zeros. Generally, we can say that a non-zero constant polynomial has no zeros. Next, what about the zero of a zero polynomial? A zero polynomial can be written as p of x equals zero. When x equals one, p of one is equal to zero. When x is two, p of 2 is equal to 0, etc. That is, if we take any real value in the place of x, then the value of 0 polynomial is 0. So, we can say that every real number is a 0 of the 0 polynomial. Let's have a quick recap. Today, we have seen value of a polynomial and zero of a polynomial, including constant polynomial and zero polynomial. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. First, find the zero of the polynomial. P of x equals x plus two. Second, find the value of the polynomial p of x equals 2x square minus 3x plus 4. When x equals 2. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.